Okay, so for the longest time ever, I've been a beta tester for pretty much anything I can find, whether it's just beta testing an application, whether it's just a full on Windows software or even my own operating system. I pretty much beta test anything I can find. And here is my opinion from a beta tester on what I think about testing out applications and whether you should be a beta tester. Here are my two cents. So some of the stuff that I've tested as a beta tester include Windows Insider program, like literally my laptop OS, I beta tested. My phone, I'm currently beta testing. Uh, Microsoft Edges, Insider program. And then let's see what else. Pretty much any application on the Play Store, including the Google app, I beta tested. Um, I've even ran custom operating systems that were not properly stable, like really early builds. Matter of fact, I'm even beta testing on my Xbox One. All right, quick announcement. I actually made an Instagram account for Tech Alpha, so you can go ahead and follow it right over there. Search up I am Tech Alpha on Instagram. Shoot me a follow because I am dropping some exclusive content over there for you guys. So yeah, back to the video. Like I've taken beta testing to the next level. If I can find even my browser, oh my God, like literally even my browser, I'm running a developer version like Chrome Canary. So sometimes I just take you to the next level. If there's an option to do some beta testing and get early features, I take the risk. And the reason why I do it and the reason or the pro in doing it is that you can actually get early features. So beta testers have the opportunity to experience early features that are supposed to come out in final builds, maybe a few months down the line or even a few years down the line. So you get the luxury of trying out new features, new options and things like that. So it's a pretty cool experience if you ask me. And that's the main purpose why I do beta testing and why I think a lot of people do actually decide to do beta testing. The second reason why I do beta testing is because I like giving feedback. As you guys know, I like making tech videos. I like giving you guys my feedback on tech products the same way I like giving feedback to these companies that I always work with and the same way I like to give feedback to these major companies like Microsoft and Google. Like whenever I do beta testing and I find a bug, I always write some sort of note and let them know about it. Things like that. I just like giving feedback about tech. And then now let's talk about the cons or why sometimes I regret doing it. And the biggest one I can remember is running Windows Insider program on this Dell XPS 15. And the thing is, this is my main machine. Like this is where I do my editing, my schoolwork, my business, everything is on this machine. And I had, I had the courage to actually do some beta testing on this. And I really, really messed up over there because I started getting random errors, random shutdowns. And I pretty much lost all my data and that was really, really dangerous and scary because if I had lost all my stuff, I would have been screwed. But thankfully, I was able to revert back to a stable build. So my two cents is that if you guys are using your main system, like a main computer, for example, try to avoid doing beta testing unless you have a spare computer because it's not it's not worth the extra features. But if it's like an application, like I test out Chrome Canary, their Firefox developer version, that's all fine because it's just a little application. If anything goes wrong, just uninstall the app, you're fine, right? Now with phones, I have like a lot of courage actually to go ahead and do beta testing. I'm doing the Android Q beta test right now on this Google Pixel 2 XL. There are a bunch of bugs on this, but I'm willing to live with that because I'm getting the early experience. And some builds are better than others. So if you are an early beta tester, you're going to notice a lot more bugs than a late beta tester. So I've been an early beta tester and I'm still holding on. So, you know, it's a matter of preference. Like if you're willing to take the courage, go for it. But just know that you pretty much could lose anything anytime. And I really don't care if I lose my data on my phone because most of it is backed up, whatever is important. But for something like a laptop, I'm never going to do beta testing again unless I have another laptop or computer. So that's my two cents on this whole situation on beta testing. Some people have actually asked me um, if they should get the Android Q beta themselves. And that just gave me the idea to make this video and let you guys know if you should actually consider even becoming a beta tester for anything, not just Android Q. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and make sure you turn on those post notifications. This is Tech Alpha signing out. I will see you guys tomorrow with another brand new video. So peace out.
Wow, I'm pippity-dippity.